from the beautiful Treasure Coast of Florida. You're watching Ham Radio Concepts. Hey everyone, this is Eric with Ham Radio Concepts. Got the video finally done here of the ICOM 50th Anniversary ID51A. This was a limited production run of the ID51A, 5,000 units worldwide only. And they came in five colors, green, red, white, blue, and black. I chose green. And there's some features on the 50th anniversary edition, besides being a limited run, that are not on the 51 or the 51 Plus, such as you get the ICOM FAS270E wideband receiving antenna. This is for receiving AM, FM broadcast bands, as well as aircraft bands, uh, VHF aircraft bands. So you get the standard antenna for 2 meters, 70 centimeters, and you get the extended receiving antenna for those, because uh, it's got a, uh, a wide receive on this thing. So, I'm talking about the radio. There's so many features I can't bore you to death, so I'm going to try to touch on some of them here. And uh, now that I have a D-Star uh, repeater, or two actually in the area, and a Yaesu System Fusion repeater, I can start making videos on both. And uh, I've had this radio for about five months, I just haven't had time to make a video, but I purchased it at the same store online that I purchased the FT1DR. That's gigaparts.com, the link's in the description. And um, check and see if they still have the 50th anniversary uh, when you're watching this video, because they might be gone by now. So the size of the handheld, uh, I'd say it's, it's a little bit about the same. Well, let's see. First, we'll compare it to a bow phone, okay? Because everybody knows what a bow phone is, all right? So you're not getting this hefty radio. It's a little bit bigger than the bow phone, okay? Uh, my FT1DR is in the other room, so I don't feel like getting up and getting it. But you can see what size, how, how big it is. It's not that big. It's not that heavy. It feels good in the hand. Um, it's got a nice size screen here while you're holding it to see uh, enough information on here and we'll go into the GPS and stuff in a minute. It says GPS and it'll display all that on the screen. You have dual band, dual mode, dual receive, independent A and B. So you can listen to an analog repeater up top and a digital repeater on the bottom. You can listen to uh, AM broadcast on top and an analog repeater on the bottom. So VHF, VHF, UHF, UHF, VHF, UHF, dual watch, dual receive. But you can't listen to two digital, or you can't listen to two AM broadcast, or uh, you know, uh, or a uh, d digital and an FM narrow. That's the other one. You can't watch uh, both those at the same time. But you know, you should be able to do all right with one digital, and one analog together, independently. So no DTMF keypad in the front, but you can program DTMF speed dial memories in the. Uh, memory banks and recall them at any time should you have a need to for Echo Link or other, other bands. But a four way uh, directional keypad here, not really directional, but four way, mostly for D Star plus the button in the middle. Uh, a lot of D Star functions on here. You have a uh, digital repeater, call sign, receive call sign. So you can see who was the last person that called you. D-Star is, is so advanced now. It's worked the bugs out. It's very robust. And, and uh, you'll, that's a whole other video to show you how to operate D-Star. But uh, some buttons on the front that get you actions that you're normally used to. Menu, go right into the menu. And there's, it'll show you there's, three to, uh, there's four pages of menus on here. You can use the knob on the top to scroll through them, or you can use the up and down arrows individually. But there's some stuff in the menus like your uh, duplex or tone, so you can set your repeater shift uh, and your tones. Voice memo, so you can actually record voice memories in here. Like, hey, I got to pick up groceries tonight and play them back. Voice transmit, uh, you'll on the on the side here. There's a micro SD card up to 32 gigabyte capacity, not included, but purchasable. And uh, you put the micro SD card in there, and now you can record conversations um, between two people. Or if you're talking to someone on a repeater, you can record the conversation. You can record people talking with each other. If you're working a long distance contact over digital, you can record that. You can record voice transmit so that, much like contesting on my FT450, I don't repeat myself over and over again. I can actually record my voice and transmit at a set interval. Uh, in case uh, there's a, a very busy 
reflector or a reflector that nobody's listening to. Uh, I can have that transmit every so often, and when someone comes on, I can respond to them without having to keep picking up the radio and transmit. That's pretty cool. Uh, broadcast radio GPS, like I said, a full-fledged GPS in here. Uh, we'll go into that setting in a minute. Uh, memories, call sign, received history. It'll show you other stations that you've talked to. So you can see right here the repeater W4OT. Uh, K4CPJ, that's Craig, he called me from that repeater. Uh, you know, through the history I could see that Jim, W2JKD on the 5100, ICOM 5100, uh, was calling out on the repeater, okay? And there's a whole, say so called CQ, which means he called locally, he didn't call through a reflector. And uh, I could see the time and his message on the received history. His GPS coordinates, if he had the GPS on at the time, I could see exactly where he was when he made that. So I, could, I have a whole history of call signs uh, in here of people I've talked to or repeaters I've connected to. There's KF4PFI John, and uh, it'll show if he had his GPS. Depends on what radio he was on. Uh, so that's, that's pretty cool. Keep playing radio. Repeater, Melbourne. So, so that, that's pretty cool. Receive history. Um, my station, this is where you'll set up your call sign and your transmit message. So as you're talking on digital, uh, your message will come up on, the, on their screen so they can see your name, your call sign, and a little message. Usually you put your radio you're working or uh, the city and state you're in. So mine will say Vero Beach, Florida, ID 51. Um, speech, you can have it read out. As I turn that feature off, that annoys the heck out of me. I hate that because I, I really don't care if other people are talking to listen. I can tell who they are. Uh, I don't have to know their call sign, even though I know their call sign in my head. I don't have to hear it. So it'll it'll automatically announce um, the mode speech or the the uh, call sign, the received call sign, uh, the call sign of the repeater. All that can be announced. All right. So these are just a few features that I'm trying to show you here. Um, you can clone the radio, so if you have a buddy, like I do, that has a 51 that has everything in there, you can clone this from your radio to his or his radio to yours, and he can put all those features on there and you're ready to go. So uh, very cool. If we go into something like the quick menu down here on the bottom, this is like a quick functions instead of having to go through all of it. You know, you can set your shift, your tone, tone squelch, um, DTMF transmit. So direct input, I can I can change it right here. Look, if I want to do 22.5, I can set that up uh, DTMF without having the keypad. So it's not a big deal to have no keypad in the front. Um, so we have weather alert function. Weather alert function, if the National Weather Service will initiate that uh, alert tone, the emergency alert system tone, it'll automatically switch from wherever you're at to the local weather station and give you the report in case of a tornado, natural disaster, or hurricane. Very important. Very cool. Uh, GPS position. So it will show me right here on the GPS my latitude and longitude, my grid square, my altitude, my bearing, uh, well, th I guess the bearing would be from the last repeater or uh, which way it thinks I'm heading, but I'm stationary now. Um, my speed, the time, and uh, now this next screen would be the received. So as you're talking to somebody, you will see your position on GPS and their position. So now you can see Craig is five miles from me due south, and he's moving 10 miles an hour to the west. Maybe he's on a bicycle. Maybe he's uh, just driving really slow. But um, you can see that, and that's really cool. So there's other features such as automatic, uh, automatic. Uh, what would I? How? Would I, what's the feature I'm thinking of? Um, auto reply on D-Star. So if you transmit to somebody, it automatically send them your GPS. Um, you know, GPS coordinates or auto replies such as a message. Busy, can't get a hold of you right now. Um, so we'll go back in the quick menu here and we have um, broadcast radio. 
And we had a problem. I go, he doesn't want to pay it. I said, no, he offers a million more to keep you. <laughs> yes, I listen to talk radio. You've probably seen that in some other videos. So, broadcast radio, I have to say the sensitivity of this is phenomenal. I have a radio in my house. A radio, a Sony radio in my house that doesn't pick up like this does. Uh, maybe it's because the antenna, maybe it's because of circuitry, I don't know. But no matter what you do with this thing in my house, it's always full scale on this channel. Whereas the other one, you kind of have to get it, you know, uh, in a certain, do the Statue of Liberty and hold it with your hand above your head to get it right. Um, so you have broadcast radio, FM, AM, okay, and um, so let's see, I don't go on the broadcast much, but I know I, let's see, alright, we'll go back to quick, we'll go back to normal mode, right here, broadcast radio, off, still learning the radio guys. Uh, but there is AM broadcast on here as well. And actually, if you go here... Oh! I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, if you go to Bank Select, you can set banks of memories on here. I think this thing holds 999 memories. Uh, might be 1,000. But uh, you can set banks with different memories in there. So I'll go back here to another one I wanted to tell you about. Uh, right here, Band Scope. So I can do a continuous sweep on the band. Now if I'm listening on Simplex or FM radio I can see exactly where uh, right now this is a memory mode. Bandscope best works in frequency mode so I can dial through and see exactly I can find a repeater that may be uh, adjacent to where I'm at and and stumble upon it. Great way to find repeaters in your area that you didn't know existed. All right, uh, You can do a single sweep or a continuous sweep and uh, band scope is really cool. I'll turn that off. Let's see. There's a way to turn that off. I know there is. But anyways, we'll leave that on. So, uh, display type. Name or the frequency. You can choose if you want the, the call sign to be shown, the frequency and such like that. So we'll go into the D-Star real quick now. Um, the D-Star mode. You go down here to the bottom, which is where I have it, okay? Now, this has, uh, with the micro SD card, you can also load in, and up, you can update your repeater list on here for auto-searching local or worldwide repeaters. I'll show you an example. Uh, if we go here, we have a repeater list, which is... Uh, Worldwide, okay. So I can go here to Oceania and pull up a repeater list uh, in uh, Oceania, New Zealand area, USA Southeast, Palm Beach, Palm Coast, Tallahassee, Tampa, okay. But you could also go to near repeater, and if you watch this, you could choose all, it would be analog and digital, or just digital or just FM. So go to digital, and we'll do a near repeater search, and now it's going to pull up. By GPS, the repeaters are closest to me. You'll see Melbourne and then Fort Pierce, 22 and 25 miles away. Now, what's cool is if I wanted to talk on the Fort Pierce machine, I could just push this button in the middle, the blue button. Now it locked in the frequency right there. Call sign the frequency. Okay, and if I, I'm ready to transmit, okay, you'll see I'm set to CQ. Now, if you wanted to go through the Fort Pierce machine and talk on a gateway, well, you go up here to CQ, and now you set this. You can do local CQ, gateway, uh, reflector. We can change it to um, echo test. So it's basically like you transmit and it'll receive your uh, message and play it back for you to see if you're getting into the machine. Um, reflectors, uh, you know, a lot of commands you can do here. Receive history. So if I wanted to call K4CPJ through the Fort Pierce machine, I can do call sign routing. I can call him and it'll... it'll come on his radio that KJ4YZI is calling him. Call sign routing is really cool on DS, uh, on digital uh, D-Star. If you have a friend in uh, New Jersey or Alabama and they have a D-Star node by them, you can route it to their call sign. That's really cool. Uh, so we'll go set this back to local CQ. We'll go down here and we'll search for an analog repeater. FM. Now, uh, 
Um, I, this repeater list is not up to date because I did a factory reset after I went playing going nuts with the frequencies and the settings on this radio once I first got it. So I experiment, mess all the features up, then I factory reset it and I know what I'm doing. So I haven't put all of them back in here yet, but the software from ICOM has a lot of these in and you just search for the repeater by state and by city and it puts all the settings in and it's on your memory card. So. Um, but we'll go here to near repeater and search all. And now it's going to have a mixture. It takes a little, a couple, few seconds. And it'll show you FM or digital. And it shows you the frequency, 147120. If I was going to Longwood, which is 63 miles from here, it's ready to go. Uh, and that's FM. It automatically set the offset and the tone. There's no tone on D-Star, but on analog, that's helpful because a lot of people always look for either a repeater list or a repeater book. And they don't know the tone, and they're asking people. If your repeater is in there, or if you update the list, uh, you can you can already put the tone in there and offset and everything. Away you go. Now, um, the, again, D Star is a whole other feature on that. So we'll go back here and we'll set this to uh, near repeater. We'll set it to digital mode. Choose Melbourne. Okay, so we're back on the Melbourne. So. Um, on part two of the video, I'll show you about the uh, digital. We'll have a conversation at QSO with a couple people. And uh, a couple other features on here that I forgot to mention. You can connect this to an Android app uh, with the optional OPC 2350LU data cable and send pictures and text messages from this radio as well as uh, map you can have a map of the US or wherever you're at and it'll show you the repeaters on there. I think the app is updated a lot more than that repeater list on the, on the uh, radio. And you can choose the repeater you want, touch it on your app, and it'll automatically set the radio into that repeater frequency and settings. So uh, very cool with that. And like I said, you could snap a picture on the iPad or the Android. I keep saying iPad. Android, send it from here to another user with a ID51 or 5100 and an Android device and you can exchange pictures that way and from what I hear they're high definition pictures and they can be sent with voice so you can transmit the picture and talk at the same time now it's going to be faster only transmitting the data with the DV fast mode the anniversary edition has a DV fast mode which is three times faster than the conventional low speed data but you can talk and transmit at the same time very cool stuff uh, but it's an overview of the radio, a couple features it does, and uh, that's for it for right now. And uh, subscribe, and we'll get you to part two, and maybe even we'll hook up with uh, a couple locals and send some pictures and show you what that's about. ID51 Anniversary Edition, great piece of gear. D Star has come a long way. Thanks for watching, and seven three from KJ4YZI.